Hey loves, Jay here with your mid-February reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, cross-watchers are also welcome. Be sure uh, to stick around to the end for your final outcome. Also keep in mind that this is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. And your spirit message for this reading, Capricorn, is spirit is saying, why do you keep doing that? You don't have to do that anymore. Okay, so that may not resonate with everyone, but someone needed to hear that message. Okay, your current energy right now, we have the seven of earth, which is your energy. We're going to pull your three cards out and then we'll clarify that. So that is your current energy that you're in. Your advice for the month is the sun. Okay, so we we'll have energy here. And your final outcome for the remainder of the month is the Queen of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Oops, put that back. Let's put that there. All right, so look, we're going to clarify each of these with the tarot. Let's see what's going on here in your current energy here, Capricorn, Seven of Earth. So there's some seeds that you're planting, something that you could be working on right now. I'm also feeling some of you needing to connect with animals or if you have animals currently, maybe you need to pay more attention to the animals that you have in your house. Um, there may seem like there may be a, a temporary pause that may be coming up for you. Maybe this could be a pause in finances for some of you, like work. There's some sort of delay that could be coming up for you. but. Spirit is also saying not to worry because some of you are in this position of worrying unnecessarily for whatever reason. I do feel like you're maybe walking away from something or walking towards something else. We'll see what comes up in the tarot. Okay. Let's see what else I'm feeling from this. This is um, a period, like I said, that, that delay, I don't want to say a setback, but there's a, this is a period where you're thinking about something. You may be uncertain about what the future is bringing you, and you're trying to invest your time wisely into something. Let's pull some cards and see what's coming up for you here. All right, why is the seven of earth here? We have the temperance, Sagittarius energy coming up for you. So, hmm. This, I, I'm feeling there may be a moment of you pulling back from something that you've been pouring into. This could show up as a romantic relationship or, or friendship or a job or a project, something that you've been pouring a lot of energy into. You've been planting the seeds for it, but Spirit is asking you to believe in something because some of you are, are losing hope, I'm feeling. You're losing hope around something, and some of you are getting a little weary is what I'm feeling. You may be in this energy right now since this is your current energy. You may be feeling weary about something that you've been putting a lot into, and it's not you're not reaping what you sow from this at, at this moment. But this is where patience is kicking in. Some of you may decide to take a little break or you're deciding to take a little pause on something. And you may be needing this pause here to pour into yourself because it feels like there could be a lack of creativity that could be uh, coming up for you because you've been pouring into this so much. You've been so focused on whatever this is that you haven't poured into yourself. And when we take that energy away from us, we become confused discombobulated we become un uncertain about what the future is bringing and what we're doing in this we're just like why am I doing this and it's not working so this may be a time right now where you're thinking let me just take a little bit of a break from this we also have the ten of Pentacles so this may re be revolved around your money or your family or taking a break from a relationship for you as well some of you are taking a break from family taking a break from friendships this definitely feels like a pause here Capricorn I don't know if it's something you know it's because something transpired make sure you take a look at my February reading 
that was posted a couple weeks ago. It may give you a little bit of clarity about what you've been walking away from. I know we talked about some of you are connected to a Virgo and there seems like there has been some something that has transpired between you and a person and it doesn't necessarily have to be a Virgo but there's something that has happened between you and someone that's close to you and so there's been a break okay and so I feel like some of you may still be in this break right here we also have the four of wands this is definitely around some sort of relationship whether romantic or platonic and that platonic could come in as a as a friendship or a family member but I definitely feel like it has revolved around something some of you are even taking a break from trying to conceive as well or trying to start a family in general building a family this may even apply to those those the, those of you that are single where you're trying you're tired of dating you're going out and um, you're tired and tired of investing your time into people and you're deciding to just take a little pause okay so that's the energy that I'm currently feeling for some of you right now it's not going to resonate with everyone but remember you can exchange you can uh, change the roles the genders to make it fit your story but don't force that okay your advice for the month is the Sun so spirit is asking you how can you find your happy through all of this okay because the Sun is the number 19 and it breaks down to 1 plus 9 is 10. It breaks down to a 1. So this is a new start. So it makes me feel like some of you have been in a little bit of a term, uh, little bit of turmoil with someone. And it feels like this is a new opportunity for a new start. Whether you're mending fences or you're walking away from something and finding your inner peace here. Okay, so Spirit is asking you, how can you find your happy in this situation? So really taking some time to clear your space. I'm even seeing some of you smudging because it feels like there's been a buildup of energy, of emotions, arguments, um, disputes. A lot of it feels like there's your your home or your home your home or your home office or your business may be holding on to a lot of energy that has just been collected uh, over a long period of time and it needs to be smudged it needs to be cleared out so I'm feeling like this is a start for some of you by just smudging your space space getting out the negative energy bringing in some Palo Santo so that you can bring in good energy that's what Palo Santo is about you could even use copal resin if you want more of a, uh, a smolder it's going to give you a really big smudge so you feel like some of you may need to use copal resin over over sage as well because <laughs> you need like a really really big a really big a really big smudge to get some of this stuck energy out make sure you're getting the corners of the ceiling so you that's where energy tends to get stuck make sure you're decluttering as well Okay, so lots of things to do for your advice is decluttering, smudging, so that you can get in a creative space. You can find your happiness again. Um, what else is coming from this? Some of you are building another level of confidence in your life as well, or you're going to build another level of confidence in your life if you follow this advice. Again, use your own discernment on what's best for you. These are just suggestions. I'm not by any means telling you you have to do this. These are suggestions for you in order to clear, clear out the space because that's the energy that I'm feeling for you. We have the Eight of Cups. You're definitely walking away. You're definitely leaving behind a relationship or multiple relationship, letting go of emotions that you've been holding on to. Like I said, it's been an accumulation of emotions and fears that have come up for you and it's time for you to finally let that go and I don't know if you're going to return back to that I'm also feeling of uh, an energy of uh, being afraid being afraid that if you walk away like this is it like this is the end of it okay and for some of you that is just what it's going to be if that is what your gut is calling you to do I, I'm, I'm hearing look at this moon Look at the moon. Some of you are needing to connect with the moon, but look at the moon here um, in the sky. And the moon, uh, the moon are your emotions. But I feel like in this card right now, what I'm feeling for you, Capricorn, is that moon is your intuition, and you're guided to that. And some of you are going to have to leave behind things, and you may feel very uncomfortable and challenged, and you may have to start over in some ways. But I do feel like your intuition is calling you elsewhere. 
whether that is leaving a job or career, starting over. I'm hearing some of you are going to be starting fresh and that might be starting a new business because maybe the one that you had just wasn't lucrative. But it definitely needs, you definitely need a time out, a little break from all of this so that you can gather your thoughts, okay? So that you can find your happiness again because some of you have just been um, putting your head down and going and just coexisting. Nine of Pentacles is here. So Spirit is saying, find your peace so that you can find your abundance. You can find your happiness. You're needing to um, reconnect in nature right now. I'm also hearing from this too. You may need a trip. Some of you may even need a solo trip without anybody there just to regroup and take care of yourself, pour into yourself, but really reconnecting in nature. And I'm looking at the bird here, which is bringing my attention back to some of you have pets that you need to reconnect with or connect with. There may be messages in your connection if you're tapped in and tuned in. But first, well, there's really no first. It's however, <laughs> whatever feels right to your spirit. But smudging, connecting with animals, taking a break from things and people to really find out what makes you happy, Capricorn. Because there is a lot that is going on around you, within you, and you have lost pieces of yourself due to whatever you have been experiencing. It definitely feels like the clouds are going to be parting. You're going to have a clear understanding. So I do feel that clarity is coming through for you. But that's only when you do your part of cleansing your space and cleansing your mind, your body, and your spirit. Okay? So that's what's coming up for you. Let's pull one more spirit saying. Two of Swords. This is definitely a, um, maybe even a difficult decision that some of you have to make about something. You're going to have to leave behind these emotions and these relationships, even thoughts that are coming up for you. I'm also hearing someone um, dealing with infidelity issues here. So maybe even being blinded by that or receiving the evidence because you already had a gut-wrenching feeling that something may have been going on behind your back. So you're trying to decide, do I, do I leave this and do I move on? I do feel like there are a lot of intuitive nudges that are coming through for you right now, Capricorn, as you're trying to connect to your spirit. And spirit is asking you to listen to your intuition because it is guiding you exactly where you need to be. So some of you are sticking around and holding on to things that no longer align with your path. And this is reason, the reason why there is resistance that's coming up. Okay. Your final outcome for the remainder of the month is the queen of fire. Let me turn on this light. It seems like it's getting a little dark. All right. The queen of fire is coming up for you as your final outcome. So this is an energy of you. I feel like it's you stepping into a more confident person. Um, I'm even a warmer person because some of you have been a little snappy due to some of the stresses that you have been under, due to the creative blocks that you're facing, due to confusion, due to someone doing you wrong or betraying you in some sort of way. So I do feel like you begin to become warmer. That intelligence kicks in here with this queen of fire because you're listening to your intuition as well. So I feel like instead of moving with forcefulness, you're going to be moving with grace. And that's coming up. And I love this energy. You're going to be stepping into that queen of fire. That that means to me as well with this queen of fire that you're not going to lose your passion. Okay. You're not going to lose your passion for what it is that you love doing. It's just that you need to take a little time out, a little break to reevaluate the situation to see what the next step is for you because this is an opportunity for you to stretch your wings and fly so the question is is when are you going to do it and where are you flying to so don't underestimate yourself in this time you want to have to assert yourself in a well in a way that doesn't mean does not mean that you have to be aggressive you're just being assertive okay assert your independence and your creativity Creativity is a big factor for you because some of you have been experiencing a blockage. And so you're going to be expanding on that during um, at some point during this month, going into the month of March. Why is the Queen of Fire here? The 
the princess of swords so i'm feeling from the queen of fire and the princess of swords i do feel like there is help for you so you have support and i know we've said in past readings that you do have a really good support system if you do decide to lean on them capricorn but you have to get yourself out of a funk first is what that feels like because again too much going on around you and i feel like there are a lot of signs that are coming up for you and you may not be paying attention to them because you're a little bit too in your head about things yeah be honest with yourself honestly because you're you're very insightful and you're very curious and there's and you're very communicative but it does feel like you need to get out of your way in order for you to step into that confidence, the warmth, the trusting, the intelligence and the intellect that's coming through. And so that you're not so bothered. I'm hearing some of you are hot and bothered and I don't think it's in a sexual way. Um, that hot and bothered is you're tempered, like you're tempered, like you got a hot temper right now. And it's the, you, you got to cool that off there, girl. Okay, you got to cool it off a little bit, okay, because it's getting a little bit too heated for some of you here. All right, we have the Princess of Pentacles. What is this next? Oh, the Six of Swords. Getting out of there. The Princess of Pentacles. So look, we have the Princess of Swords and the Princess of Pentacles. So I feel like you're using your logic, your skills, your knowledge, the things that you've learned, the things that you've researched in order to apply that to grow something. So I do feel when you take the time out, Capricorn, a lot of great ideas are going to come to you. Even new people are going to come into your life to help you through whatever this is or help you to towards the destiny that you're trying to reach. You're going to be moving on from some of the thoughts that have been holding you back. But I do feel like there's help here for you. So you're going to have to learn to utilize the help that is coming in for you and knowing that you can't do it all by yourself. But the first thing that you have to do is take time from yourself for yourself and take a break from whatever this is that you are putting so much energy into because it doesn't feel like it is pouring into you. It's like the energy doesn't match. It's like there's some anger, frustration, all of that is coming up for you. And whatever it is that you're pouring in is not, it's giving you the frustration and the anger, but it's not, it's not smoothing things out for you. It's like the energy is on two different, um, on two different ends of the spectrum is what it feels like. And there needs to be a meeting in the middle of coming together. So reach out to the support or accept the support that you do have, or even if some of you are needing to seek counsel or spiritual advising, I'm also hearing you know, listening to tarot readings, make sure you're very comfortable and your your intuition is aligning with who you're listening to as well. Some of you are going to be reading self-help books. You're going to be listening to motivational speaking, but you're going to be doing things that you haven't done before because you haven't had the time to do it. So now when you're investing in yourself, you're going to be finding new and creative ways to step outside of this box that you sort of caged yourself into because you know that you're bigger than that and so you're going to be bursting and busting through that box kicking holes in it stomping on it and then kicking it down the street okay <laughs> so that is your reading capricorn thank you all so much for tuning in enjoy the rest of february i will see you guys in the month of march many blessings and love and light to you guys peace